Suppose we flipped a coin and rolled a die and wanted to know the probability of getting a head on the coin and a six on the die. Let's learn how to do that. One of the possible ways is to write out all the possible combinations that could happen. So let's say we have the set of all possible combinations and we have a head and a one. Then we have head and we rolled a two. Heads and rolled a three, heads and four, heads and a five, and heads and a six. Then we would also have well, tails, the two options for coin, heads and tails. Tails and a one on a die, tails and two, tails and three, tails and four, tails and five, and tails and six. And so we've had all now the possible combinations that we could have with the flipping a coin and rolling a die. And so there are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve possible options. So we have the probability of a head and a six would be out of twelve possible options here. And there's only one chance that happens one time, right here. So we one out of twelve. That's also though another easier way to think about it is combining our probabilities. A head is one out of two chance. Heads, one out of two, heads or tails, one out of two, and multiply it by the probability of getting a six on the die, which is one out of six. One out of two times one out of six is a one out of 12. So that's gonna be an easier way to solve this type of problem, but if you needed to, you could just write down all the possible combinations and see how many times your event occurs. Hope you learned something here about probability, and as always, Thanks for watching.